Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois Season 3. Today we're going to be breaking down an article that was written on Looper.com. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DCTV videos later this year. So as I said, we're going to be reading through this Looper article. Some of you guys may know Looper, they regularly report on things related to the Arrowverse, and so the title of the article that we're going to be breaking down is Todd Helbing has disappointing news for future Arrowverse crossovers and as always they are going to be linked in the description below so you can go ahead and read the article after you finish the video just in case there are things that you want to read up upon yourself even though we're going to be breaking down pretty much most of this article. So the article does contain spoilers as it says for season 2's finale of Superman Lois but we've talked about that a lot, so I don't think that is a worry as of right now, because it's been many, many weeks since Superman Lois went away. And also, I just wanted to say I'm going to be doing a new thing on my channel in terms of live streams. There is going to be a live stream this Thursday. It is going to be a normal live stream, but maybe later in this week we're going to be doing a different type of live stream, and it's going to be a test. And this live stream is going to be a members live stream. So what's going to happen is... It's going to be a normal live stream, everyone can join and tune in. And we're going to have people joining in the live stream with me who are members of the channel. And so if you aren't a member, please be sure to click the join button and become a member today. And then you will be able to join the live stream live and actually come on camera or come on microphone however you are comfortable with. And we're going to be discussing the Arrowverse, we're going to be discussing the Flash, Superman Lois, the future of the Arrowverse and things like that. So we're going to be queuing you guys in one by one and we're going to be talking to you guys. There's probably going to be about two of you in the call at the same time as me and then we'll queue in other people afterwards. And obviously if you aren't a member and you are watching the stream and you become a member during the stream, you can jump on the video straight away when it's your time slot. So this is a new cool experiment that we are conducting on the channel. It's going to be very exciting. Hopefully you guys want to join in and come on the live stream and talk to me personally and your fellow members about the Arrowverse. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Okay, so in terms of what Looper says, we're going to kind of skip through a bit from the start where they introduce the article and we're going to head to the bit that says what's next for what's left of the Arrowverse. And they say... With the SAG cancellation of Batwoman, Legends of Tomorrow, and Supergirl ending last year, Helbing isn't wholly confident that there will be a ton of familiar faces heading to the show, but he's not entirely ruling it out. And this is a quote from Todd Helbing, the showrunner of Superman Lois. He says, With General Lane's speech there about Superman being the only hero, it might be a little tricky to do crossovers in the way that we've done them historically. I don't know. What's going to happen is, if there's an opportunity, I love Grant Gustin, Helbing said. Grant's a great friend, and I have connections to that show, The Flash. But, I would say if there is one, Flash would probably be my first call, in terms of a crossover. It's a little bit tricky now to do all of this, but we'll see what happens. Although cameos would be different, iterations from the heroes we love, it's not outside the realm of possibility, according to Looper and Todd Helbing. So with Todd Helbing saying that it would be a little bit tricky to do crossovers in the way that they've done that historically, that is actually of their own creation. This wouldn't have been a problem if they just stuck with the idea that Superman Lois is on Earth Prime, it's in the whole Arrowverse, and it's the same versions of the characters that we've known from the past on Supergirl and the crossovers. But with them actually retconning this and saying this is an entirely different world and Superman is the only hero on this world, they've actually made it much harder for themselves to do crossovers, and I actually think this is exactly what they wanted. Because, as you know, recently, since the pandemic, there has been very minimal crossovers. The only crossovers that have been happening was Armageddon 
and John Diggle showing up on some of the other shows. And so they're minimal in terms of what the Arrowverse has done in the past with Crisis on Infinite Earths and also Crisis on Earth X and Elseworlds and crossovers like that. And so it's clear that they wanted this clean slate in order for it to be harder to do the crossovers and then people would eventually stop asking. Now this is just me presuming and theorizing but I feel like that's what they were going for because ever since Superman Lois first premiered people have been asking that question non-stop and I think this is their answer to that. And so what Todd Helbing actually says in regards to possible crossovers is that he would love Grant Gustin to be on the show because he's friends with him and obviously he worked on the show in the past. Todd was the showrunner of the show a couple of seasons back in like season four when it wasn't very good so obviously he's got a bit of a tainted history with The Flash. However, he says if there is any show that he would want to cross over with it's The Flash that would be his first call and so obviously that makes the most sense I feel like people have been asking for this and he knows it and also you have to recall they were planning to do a Superman Lois crossover well the CW was because apparently the CW is the one who kind of calls the main shots in terms of you know the way that the Arrowverse is paving like do we need to do a crossover? What do we need to do with this show? Does this show have to end? Does this show get cancelled? Or bring in a new show that's going to be somehow involved, maybe a spin-off of another show. They are the ones that are, at the end of the day, kind of in control. Although the showrunners and the writers get to kind of develop their storylines in the ways that they want it. And so this crossover that they were initially planning a couple of years ago was with Superman Lois and Batwoman, I do believe. And so that was planned right just before the pandemic hit. And then the pandemic hit and they were like, oh, maybe we can do this Superman Lois Batwoman crossover, considering that it's only two shows crossing over, rather than having like a four or five show crossover like they have historically done in the past. However, that was quickly swept under the rug because there was so many limitations when they were filming when COVID was at its initial peak right at the start and they got finally back to filming, they didn't want to mess things up and so they were like, okay, no crossovers are happening. But eventually, over the last couple of years, we've got to the point where we can do these mini crossovers, we can do Armageddon and now potentially we can do another crossover. We know that The Flash is potentially planning another mini crossover at the start of season nine or at least at some point during season nine but still they can't do the big crossovers apparently just due to the way that things are organized in Vancouver in terms of like how many people can actually be on the set, the protocols around that. So I feel like with the pandemic Superman and Lois has actually used this as a good excuse to isolate their show and I think with all the questions that fans have been asking over the years it makes sense that Todd Helbing wanted to separate the show away from the Arrowverse, even though I don't think it's a personally good decision. I feel like it's just cutting themselves off, and obviously that doesn't make Superman Lois worse than any of the other shows. I think Superman Lois is one of the best shows in the Arrowverse. I just think it's a little bit of a shame that they would want to isolate themselves from something that was so good. And same goes for any other shows that come in the future. But let's move on to the next bit. So, Crisis on Infinite Earth seemingly eliminated the multiverse, but it seems like that's not exactly the case with this revelation. On how this twist affects on some of those storylines, and if it's safe to say that this Superman is different from the Superman that we met on Supergirl and the crossovers, Todd Helbing confirmed the assumption. Todd goes on to say, we're a different planet, we're a different Earth, the Superman that you saw in all the crossovers is not the same as the Superman on our planet. He's clearly a doppelganger. Part of how this all unfolds in the big picture with DC is ultimately a DC decision. Like I said, there's the CW and it's DC and it's Warner Brothers who kind of get to plan the big picture but then, you know, the people who run the show get to do the small picture and try and link it up in the ways that they want to do it and this is just the way that Todd wants to do it and so he goes on to say I'm sure there'll be more clarity in the future but as of right now we're on a different earth in the DC universe in the Arrowverse but just on another earth and as you guys all know currently right now no one knows that the multiverse exists beyond John Henry Iron, Superman and people like that because obviously John Henry was from another earth 
that confirms that the multiverse exists, they just have Bizarro World coming this season, so they know it exists, but they don't know that the Flash exists, they don't know that the Arrowverse as a whole exists, where all of these other heroes are situated on these different planets, obviously General Lane kind of referenced this in the season 2 finale, but it hasn't been entirely laid out. Also, it must be emphasized that The Flash, which is the multiverse heavy show in the Arrowverse, doesn't actually know that these other Earths, these new Earths exist beyond the crisis because they thought all the Earths merged to Earth Prime, but turns out not entirely true. Okay, so the next part of the article is titled Rest in Pieces Crossover Episodes. So, they go on to say, here's the most pressing question that fans really want to know. Will there be any major crossover events in the future? Unfortunately, given that most of the Arrowverse shows aren't airing anymore, Todd Helbing isn't confident about that. He goes on to say, that version of what we did is probably done because we don't have all of those characters anymore. From those shows, all the actors are going to go on and do different projects or life is going to make them busy, he said. It's hard to speculate other than they're still comic book shows, there are guests in comic book shows all the time. I don't know if we'll exactly have the same thing, it's hard to perceive what could happen in the superhero genre. And so yeah, that is pretty much it for the article. So what do I think about this last bit? So Todd's basically saying that the Arrowverse crossovers as we know them from in the past are pretty much done. That doesn't come as much as a surprise to me because as they announced this at the end of Superman Lower Season 2, as General Lane did his speech, I kind of got that impression. And I think you guys did too, and that is why there's been so much backlash against Superman Lois and the Season 2 finale in particular, because they are retconning the Arrowverse. They are going back on stuff that they talked about in Season 1 even, so they are completely doing a 180. And with The Flash probably being the last Arrowverse show, because Stargirl was not connected to Earth Prime, and it seems that the new shows that are coming like Justice U and Gotham Knights aren't going to be set on Earth Prime, it makes sense that the normal Arrowverse crossovers, the major ones, aren't going to be happening anymore, and it's going to be more just kind of guest cameos with characters showing up even if they aren't our normal characters, maybe Superman and Lois will use their doppelgangers. That is something that Todd Helbing has been teasing since the end of Season 2, and that is because they have this clean slate, and there's the possibility to bring back any character that they like in any form. doesn't have to be a doppelganger, it can be a different character, it can be played by a different actor, but they will have new stories because this is another Earth and that is just what Todd Helbing has confirmed. But that pretty much does it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future videos. Also turn on notifications to not miss anything on the channel, and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see.